Rachel, good morning. Good morning, Steve. Nice to see you. Let me ask you this. You are two days away from this dragon boat race. Mm -hmm. Sunday the 19th in Newark. Yes. What's it been like organising it? Whew, wow, it's been a bit of a roller coaster, really, to be honest. Um, start of the year, it was a will we, won't we question, the way everyone um, else has operated, obviously, for this year. And, and then um, as things seemed to improve, we were like, yes, we can go ahead with this. So then it was all systems go. So um, yeah, it's, it's the last couple of months in particular have been just full on manic. Now, one thing that shocked me is, you're raising the money for the Children's Bereavement, yeah? Is that Children's right? Bereavement Centre and Beaumont House. So, oh, lovely. Oh, right, yeah, okay. The Dragon Boat Race, uh, Dragon Boat Festival is a joint um, charity event, so it involves both of us, yes. Right. How many people have been organising this? Well, it's the two charities, so predominantly it's been myself here um, from the fundraising side, and then from Beaumont House, um, it's been the equivalent is Cathy. So, yeah, we've been talking to teams and booking pontoons and toilets and uh, music and stage and all that sort of thing. So Why did you come up with a dragon boat race? That's, that's water. That's a huge event. Why? Well, actually, it started in uh, 2019 and Beaumont House um, sent me an email one day. Uh, actually, it was Jo, um, who worked there at the time, and yeah. said, how do you fancy organising uh, a dragon boat race in partnership? and uh, it just went from there really so at the time it was a company called gable events and they organize uh, dragon boat racing and lots of um company team uh, events yeah, you know, yeah. things like it's a knockout and things like that so they organize it nationally so we're not organizing the actual on water activity so they're proper dragon boats you know they're they're built they're bought in yeah. and um there's a company uh, called New Wave Events, used to be Gable Events, and um, the management changed. So, yeah, so we're working with them this year. So oh. they look after all the dangerous part. Well, not dangerous, but do you know what I mean? All, no. the, all the river activity side of it. So with this Sunday coming up, yes. yeah, what can we expect down there? Oh, wow, it's going to be a, an amazing day. Um, so the Dragon Boat Racing starts at 10 o'clock. Yeah. We've got 36 local teams signed up to take part. 36? 36, yeah. Who have we got? Oh, Ooh, um, name a few. Okay, I'll name a few. So we've got um, Ambitions Personnel, Back of All, RPS. We've got independent rowing retailers um, of Newark. So that's a group of um, all the local shops that have come together to make up a team. Oh, that's cool. Uh, we've got Newark Amateur Operatic Society. Um, we've got a group of um, friends called the Fat Bashers. Um, <laughs> so yeah, it's 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 just am yeah. it's just amazing. So we've got some of the bigger organisations locally. Yeah. Um, um, St. Gabane, um, at Boulderton, uh, whew, who, it goes on and yeah, on. Yeah, the, li the list just goes on and on and on. 36. Yeah, it's amazing. 36. Yeah. So that means we're in a pretty good position straight away because well, the, the boats were bought, weren't they? Yeah, so um, you could basically fund them in a number of ways. So you could just pay, uh, so a company could just pay the full amount. Uh, they could do um, pay 750 and fundraise 250. They could pay 500 and fundraise 500, or we have a fully fundraised option. So that's what um, sort of groups like um, the rowing retailer, the independent retailers um, will do, and um, fat bashers will do. Um, and then some of the bigger companies will just pay the thousand pounds. But then what we do do is encourage people to fundraise on top of that where they can. Got so, you. Um, a uh, perfect example actually, Royal Mail, uh, mm -hmm. the post office, uh, they've come on board this year. They've got two teams. They're called First Class Flyers and Special Delivery. Oh. And they're <laughs> fully fundraised and oh they've done they've done raffles, they've got dressed up, they've yeah, the the fundraising's been amazing. So. Do you think a lot of this, you know, with, with the community coming together, yes we've got two very worthy charities, organisations there. But the fact that everybody's been pinned up the fact that nobody's been out doing anything or spending anything, you know, people are aware that you know we need we need the charities back on board. We've got to support them. I think I mean we're really lucky. Newark is so supportive. Um, I, I can only speak directly from my experience here at the CBC, and mm. uh, but I'm sure Beaumont House would echo this as well. That 
um, both the general community and the business community are hugely supportive of us as a charity and um, some of the companies that have stepped up to support us with this event um, you know it's amazing some have entered teams we've got places like Green Zone um, on the industrial estate that have provided all the bins for us for example so they're oh, coming lovely. in uh, they're being delivered today and they, you know they haven't charged us and yeah. um, Grey Monkey Toilets have done us a really good deal on the you know on the toilets not the most exciting part of the event but necessary as I'm sure you can understand so I'll be using it um yeah so I think it's a combination of the fact that people haven't been able to do anything for mm -hmm. such a long time which is why we are sold out the max so 36 teams is the most that you can have uh, what, to, to you, do let me just ask you about that so when you released it how long did it take you to fill well, we already had, because we held it for the first time in 2019, so after that event, we went out to the company and said, do you want to reserve your bait for next year? The majority of them said yes. Oh, that's good. Then in 2020, obviously, COVID happened, changed yeah, the world, yeah, um, yeah. so we couldn't do it. So we got in touch with those companies and said, can we roll your entry over to 2021? They said yes. Now, obviously, for some, their situation changed from, you know, October yeah. 2019 through to sort of March this year. Um, but the majority of people, you know, rolled their entry over from That's when good. they committed after that. Yeah. One. So we were off to a good start, really, Steve, to be honest. But um, we've got a good mixture of companies that have done it before um, and some new ones as well. So Because it is an exciting day, isn't it? Oh, it, it's really hard to kind of explain really, but the actual dragon boat racing, if you can imagine, you've got the iconic castle on one side, you know, Riverside Park's looking lovely as well at the moment. Yeah, yeah, it is looking good. Um, you know, the beautiful river, and then you've got three boats, co really colourful boats, um, with all these people in rowing, going up and down the river all day long. It and really is a sight screaming to and shouting at each other. E absolutely, yeah. Well, competition is fierce as yes, well. Yes, of course, it is. <laughs> I, do you know, I, I can remember back in 2019 when, uh, when it happened then, it was a mental day. You know, that, that, that whole community feel, and it was, everyone came together and it was just, oh, it was, it was great. I mean, we the Dragon Boat is the, the main fundraising element of it, but Riverside Park is such a great space. Yeah. So off the back of the um, Dragon Boat racing, we organise a family fun day as well. So, oh, right, so we've got that to look forward to. Yeah, absolutely. So we've got a stage, um, we've got some live entertainment. Um, there, so Can we say who's coming down? Can yeah, we know? Uh, yeah, so entertainment-wise, we've got... Um, Barnby Road Academy come in with their children to do a oh, bit of they? singing in the morning. Yeah, uh, lovely. That's so, always lift, uplifting, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, kids' choir. It's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. Um, we've got AJ School of Dance. So they're coming right. down to give us a showcase. So they've got some dancers and some singers. Um, a very talented Michael Jackson dancer. Um, we've got Mediocre. Uh, and they're not Mediocre, as their name suggests, but they're um, a group of um, young girls from Nottingham High School, actually. Oh, right. So not that none of these, with the exception of AJ's, none of these are sort of, uh, you know, super professional yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. acts at all. But um, so the girls coming down, this is the biggest gig they've ever done. Bless them. Um, <laughs> we've got a guy actually who is brilliant. It's called Ant McAndrew. He's local. He is, um, he, he does lots of paid gigs as well. He's so. a very good yeah. singer songwriter, yeah. that boy. He is. He's is so talented. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm not doing him a disservice by implying he's not professional, but do you know what I mean? He's, he's there. What's yeah. wrong with you, woman? Yeah, he's, yes. he's coming along. These people are all coming and playing for free. We're not, we, we don't pay any of them. It's yeah. an opportunity for them to, to showcase themselves. So, um, yeah, I only spoke to Ant last saturday actually so we're, but we're delighted to have him on board so really so. going going forward let's just <laughs> we're talking about next year very quickly yeah if anyone wants to get involved like that you know who wants to gig wise just give you a call just give me a call so we did a shout out on social media and said would yeah. anybody like to come and play you know we, we don't have any money we're not paying people um <laughs> it's charity yeah yeah you know it's all for charity so um yeah, we've got Clive Rudd who played for us in 2019 as well. So yeah. he does like 60s and 70s uh, with his guitar. Um, he's one of our volunteers actually. So oh, cool. um, we try to involve people that are involved, yeah. you know, with the charities anyway. So because the community can actually get involved with you guys big time, can't they? Absolutely, yeah. Um, I mean, this charity would not function without the support of the volunteers. So mm. you know, we're a relatively small team. Um, How many is in it? If you include the clinical staff now, there's 10. Um, so when I say clinical, they're the, they're the staff that work directly with the children. Yeah, yeah. Um, 
but yeah the, the volunteers help us with everything from admin um reception events uh, we have clinical volunteers as well obviously they're people that have trained and they yeah. are um, counselors and support workers um we have people that come in and put pictures up and paint um yeah we, it, mm. we we can't function without the volunteers and for this particular event i think we've got round about 90 involved in some way or other. wow yeah so and they've been recruited um Beaumont house and and um, yeah. cbc yeah. so yeah cool cool now you always need money and dragon boat races is, is one way of doing it but throughout the year how do you how do you actually raise money well it's been challenging um but as i say we're fortunate that we're a local charity and we get great support locally so mm. um with the exception of the dragon boat our big um event uh this year campaign rather sorry was our daisy remembrance campaign do you have a daisy with you i do i do Ho, ho, ho. Okay, here's one we made earlier. So um, we launched, we were about to launch this actually as COVID happened and then we launched it last year um, and people could donate for Daisy online um, on our website. Mm. Um, and then we planted about 370 of these in Newark Castle grounds at the end of June. Um, we were able to hold the event. So the general public came down, um, looked at the daisies. We had a bit of music and a remembrance scroll. And, yeah. and it was a lovely event actually, very, emotional yeah, right. um and then these days were available to, for people to take home and put in their gardens and, and homes afterwards as well so so how can people get hold of these so if you can still donate for a daisy so if you go to our website children's bereavement center .co .uk, yeah. um there's a daisy on the home page or if you just click on support us you'll see daisy remembrance campaign i will have some with me as well on oh, um good on Sunday at the Dragon yeah. Boat Festival um, so you can come and talk to us there and just take one away with you um, and then in support of that campaign we've got some really lovely daisy earrings that you can buy on Sunday as well so, so a daisy themed yeah and again one of our uh, very talented volunteers made those earrings for us oh my goodness really yeah, yeah. so you'll be you know why is she not here well it's a he actually you're kidding you no know, I am oh not. wow so well he, done yeah, well done that man um, John he makes um, is really clever actually in fact you won't don't see it on this video but there's a, a daisy tile on my office wall he made that as well so he did painted the tiles and uh yeah. them in the oven and and made that for us so he does all sorts of bits and oh like good that. on so, him yeah he's, good he's, on he's him. a great guy so yes you can still support our daisy campaign um by donating for a daisy cool now the boat race go ah, ah, they're yep. all pulling away yep. and they get yep. to the other end what they're gonna get so everyone who participates yeah. uh, gets one of these highly sought after Dragon Boat medals. So ev that's every team member. Yeah. So we've got 36 teams and there's 11 people in a team. So there's a drummer and 10 yeah. rowers in a boat. Oh, goodness me. So everyone gets a medal. Um, and then the semi uh, in the final, the third second and first place teams uh, yeah. all get a, me a different medal uh, a oh, winning okay. medal and yeah. the team that wins gets a trophy so yeah. the uh, much sought after newark dragon boat champion 2021 <laughs> trophy yeah um and then we've also got a trophy for the best fancy dress because we're encouraging teams to get dressed up oh, right, cool. and uh, the most fundraised as well so right. um, let's give a shout out who made the medals who okay so play? well the medals we bought from run nymp but they were very kindly sponsored by blueprint gaming for us so brilliant blueprint they, thank you very much yeah they sponsored the medals and then the other sponsors that we've got involved so uh, let's give them a shout out yeah. so our headline sponsors are gusto group um, Ringways Law and GM Steel. Brilliant. Um, and then we've got uh, Envelopes, who have sponsored our uh, team village. So that's where all the competitors go. So we made like a little mini village, like the Olympics. Yeah. Um, we've got Newark College that have sponsored our climbing wall. So you can climb high with Newark College. Oh, so we've got climbing wall. Yeah, we've got oh, climbing brilliant. wall as well. And um, there is a third. I'm going to forgive you. No, no, it is, no it's fine. Yeah. I mentioned them. It was, it was um, Blueprint. Blueprint. Blueprint for the medals, envelopes for right. the team village, and Newark College for the climbing wall. There we go. I was just thinking, I knew it. I knew she'd crack under the pressure. <laughs> no, I got them. I got them. <laughs> and then, we've, like I say, we've had support from Green Zone. Both Newark and Shore District Council and Newark Town Council have been amazing. Yep. Yeah, okay. it, yeah, it, yeah. The support's been thick and fast. So, from a, a family entertainment uh, point of view, yeah. it's a must. 
absolutely so most importantly it's free come down to riverside park uh you know have a wander around we've got local food providers so we've got doncasters there we've got um they'll be doing like pulled pork at lunchtime and um, bacon and sausage cobs a bit earlier in the day we've got streetery pizza we've got thai food we've got coffee we've got cakes got an ice cream van it's a must isn't it uh, just need the sunshine um and then as well as food and drink um we've got Anna Van who's doing the bar for us um we've got a climbing wall we've got a giant buzz game you know those we've got a steady hand Steve you know oh. those ones where you can't make it buzz yeah yeah so we've got a giant one of those right. we've got a face painter we've got Tilly Potts doing slime um and then there's two craft marquees from the CBC and Bowman House so we've got our marquee that we're doing um some we've got some dragon key rings that the kids can colour in and all that sort of stuff oh, cool. so the crafts are free obviously uh, you need to pay for the climbing on the buzz game and then yeah. we've got bounce about as well that are coming along with oh good old jane well, uh, good so, old yeah, jane yeah we can't we can't have it without bounce about so um yeah again that that's a paid for activity yeah. but yeah there'll be there'll be lots to do and then there's live entertainment on the stage and then the dragon boat racing on the water it's gonna be a great day isn't it? yeah yeah it awesome. really really come classic. rain or shine come rain or shine so yeah, we don't care do we well you can't control the weather steve <laughs> you? some some people call me a control freak but even that is beyond my uh beyond my control but it keeps changing it's looking a bit damp in the afternoon but no such thing as bad weather, just bad clothing. Get your coats on and come what, what, what makes me laugh is, you're saying it's going to be a little bit damp. You realise we're going to be on the water. Yeah, but we don't want anyone in the water. We want yeah, to come hey, the water, not in come the water. Come on. Yeah. That's a beautiful river. I mean, it really is a sight to see, actually. Yeah. Um, and it's just great to be able to use that facility. You know, we are new a contract, yeah. um, aren't we, as a town? And, yeah. and to have an event that incorporates... The river with the castle in the background and um in fact there's a teenage um there's a teenage market happening on the wharf as well on sunday oh good okay um, so are you the, more, the council more things have to organized do? it that, that's not connected to us at all yeah um the council have organized that one well, that's um, a good shout out for yeah, them yeah and and so you know they'll be in that area there'll be loads to do just come down and see us yeah great well i'm not going to take any more of your time because i know that you are a busy lady yeah, yeah. million places to be today picking all sorts of things up from all sorts of places. Right, Rachel, before we close, is there anything you want to say to anybody? Thank you. Thank you to all those people. And there are too many to mention. If I've missed anyone out, I apologise. Um, but yeah, just thank you for all the support. Thank you for getting involved and supporting um, the Children's Bereavement Centre with the Dragon Boat, but with everything else that, that we do as well. Um, yeah, and just please do come along and, and support us. You know, we're here to support children and young people that need us and they need us they really do need us so um help us to help them and my my saying is giving is not about making a donation it's about making a difference so thank you for helping us make a difference to local families lives Oh, and don't forget, the stage activity is being managed by the fantastic team at Radio Newark. So a huge shout out to them for their support as well. If you'd like to be featured on Newark TV, why not drop us a line on info at newark-tv.co.uk.